What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Innistrad draft of Unhinged Guild Guilds of Shadowmoor. I'm going to competitive draft Guilds of Ravnica. And, and I just mentioned that uh, this is cast 20 red or green spells. This is cast 30 green or white spells. So if we can draft a green deck, we can probably be on point. We can also deal a lot of damage that way as well. So look at you, Min. -ma yeah, man, I have to. You got to do what you got to do, right? Uh, I mean, I guess you do anyway. I don't know. I also don't know how many constructed cards I have. I'm probably in no way, shape, or form ready to to build my own constructed deck on here. Like a competitive one, anyway. Alright, so, we got a Justice Strike, Chromatic Lanterno, a Direct Corento, Burglar Ratto, Leapfrogo, uh, Piston Fist Cyclopo, And, uh, I guess that's it. Huh. A Bodyguardo. I mean, if I was taking a red card, I would take Direct Current or Justice Strike. I'm pretty much off of Boros, though. There's just too much. I, I feel like too much has to go right. But maybe that's just me. I'm a more of a mid-range player, so I think the Golgari and the Demir deck suit me better. That being the case, I might just want to start with Chromatic Lantern because it lets us do everything. I don't think it's... The, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's the best card in the pack by any means. I think it's very good. But it's also non-committal, and none of these cards... Oh, want really... Am I going to Portland? I was going to Portland, and then I backed out because it was too close to other things. Oh, if you're, gonna, if you're going to Portland, I'm going to be real upset now. I thought this was a Niv-Mizzet, and I got real excited, and then I realized it wasn't, and I got real sad. We have a second Justice Strike or a Deadweight. You can splash Justice Strike. I can splash it off a of Chromatic Lantern, that's for sure. Um, I think it's Deadweight. It's easier to cast. It's in it's in my preferred color. Justice Strike is undoubtedly the stronger card. But Deadweight plays to more of my strengths, I think. So I'm going to take that. And now we get this sweet, affectionate Indrik here. And it feels like we're in good shape. Did you hear that noise? Did you hear him? Oh my goodness. I want this Rhizome Lurcher. Um, none of these cards are super impressive, so I'm glad this is here. I, would, I mean, if it wasn't this, I would take Whisperer Agent, but I think Lurcher is very, very good. Very good. No, nothing in this pack. Literal nothing in this pack. That's pretty sad. So if I said I was going to Portland, would that have, would that have, would that have pushed you in one direction or the other? Because that would be... And then I, um, yeah, that's sad. Man, oh man. <sighs> Watching you cuddling my dog and listening to your dog. That wasn't actually my dog. That was affectionate Indrik. So, don't, don't, don't confuse, don't confuse Hunter with uh, affectionate Indrik. Although they are similar but different. I kind of just want Guild Summit. Like, maybe we can make the Guild Summit deck work. I'm just going to take Pax Favor, because I know if I play a green deck, that's going in there. Just like Dev Divkarin Dissident, which sounds like a Skyrim name. This is just an Elder Scrolls character, I imagine. Uh, I'm not saying Hunter isn't an Indrik. I'm saying he wasn't this Indrik. So, will Hunter fight me? No, probably not. He is uh, He's a pacifist. All right, well. Sumala Woodshaper is probably better than any of these other cards. So I'm going to take it. Saratok is probably better than any of these other cards. I'm going to take that. In my head, I'm like, well, it looks like these colors aren't that open. But on the same hand, like, it's bots. So that's not really how that works. Oh, Crushing Canopy, I love. I'll definitely put a Crushing Canopy in the main deck if given the opportunity. Um... Just take another, no, I'll take another worm, just in case. Radical. Cosmo. Beam. Look at all these is it cards that came back. Ooh, Midnight Reaper. I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight reaper. Gonna put you in the deck. Got a disinformation campaign. And that's pretty much the only thing that's good in this pack. 
That is kind of sad, it's true. Yeah, the only other option is like veiling, veiling, veiled shade. Not gonna, not gonna work here anymore, that's for sure. I'll take the disinformation campaign, I guess. The problem is that we don't really have a way to, oh, did you see that? Is there like a microscopic hitbox here that you can like make it go crazy? <clears throat> oh, I actually, you, I have that. You should be able to use that right now. That is actually implemented in my stream, buddy. So I want to take the experimental frenzy because I do have, uh, I do want to play magic on here. So I don't think any of these are good enough. Watcher is also great. Any of those cards are great for, for the blue deck, but we are not the blue deck, so. God, this pack sucks too. Come on, packs. Come on. I'm going to take the Celestia Guildgate in case we are, like, we have Sumara, Sumala Woodcaller, so maybe we can just be Abzan instead of the, um, ever, the ever-present, ooh, nope, you suck, the ever-present Sultai. I'm going to take Rhizome Lurcher because I think it's better than, uh, Wild Saratok. And ideally, this generous stray comes back. Oh, another Rhizome Lurcher. Well, in my face. In my face. I'll take this Undercity Necrolisk, I guess. How many four drops do we have already? One, two, three, four. This is going to be fifth four drop. I don't want another Lurcher. Hunter is not a boxer. He is a Pointer Greyhound mix, and he is a good boy, and his breed does not matter. You are correct on all counts. At least that's what they think he was. He's a, he's a pound dog. I got him when he was a wee lad. And his original owners gave him up because he was too excitable. And that broke my heart because I was like, this dude is just happy to be living life. And that's that's your reason for not for not keeping this, this dude? Get out of here. You do not deserve to be pet owners. Yeah, I'll just take Lurcher number three. Whatever. Ooh, I don't love Molder Hulk, but it is a big dude. Prey Upon also pretty good. I agree with you. I don't know what any of these cards do. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. It's okay. It's all right. Didn't you host a, mag a magic podcast once? I think all dogs with the right upbringing are sweet. That's my that's my take. And I know there's going to be exceptions to that, obviously, but I'm just talking about breeds in general. I don't think there's any breed that's like... Just mad. I'm going to take Prey Upon... How many creatures do I have? Can you tell me? Can you tell me... How many creatures I have? I guess not. <laughs> is there no way to know? This is really weird. I like when their butts wiggle. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's just fantastic. Well, 10 because you counted, right? But does it tell me? Does it tell me anywhere? I don't see it anywhere, man. Did it say it over here? No. All right. I, I thought they had a stat thing too. Did they take that out? Did that get broken? Like when they when they when they updated the client, did they break that? Because that'd be pretty funny. I did count. You found. I did count. You found me out. I kind of want the prey upon because we don't have much removal, but I also just I'm gonna take the prey upon. It says it in your mind. We're just gonna take the flower flourish. Um, I don't really want another four drop. I think I'm good on four drops. However, it does draw us a card. Oh, I do like a glaive here. Because I bet we can get some more. And it makes our crappy creatures even better. I'm going to take all the wood shapers, I guess. Take all the wood chippers, I guess. God, how many four drops do we need? Maybe we're splashing black here? I don't know what's going on anymore. Boy, we sure went hard on this, uh... Oh, circuitous route. We sure went hard on this get green creatures, you know, stip Oh, steam vents. Oh, baby. And nothing in this pack I care about. That's my favorite thing ever. Like, 
I'm not going to take a Golgari Raiders. I don't care about either of these white cards or these green cards. So I can just freely take a Steam Vince, which is nice for my the collection I'm slowly building here on Magic the Gathering Arena. I'm going to take this Imara. Uh, I like Iron Shell Beetle, especially because we have things to sacrifice, don't we? Not sacrifice, but we do have Rhizome Lurchers, so we want this guy in the graveyard. Eh, little Beetle's fine. It's probably better than Gorgon here. Yeah, okay. I don't think we need another Rhizome Lurcher. However, I will take a Dissident. Because really... There's nothing left in this pack. I don't know what this deck is doing. I think we need. I think we need other things, guys. I'm not feeling good about our our five our five win potential here. <clears throat> um, yeah, none of these cards are super impressive. I am not impressed. Are you not entertained? We already have two dissidents. I don't think I want a third dissident. I think I'd rather just have another five five drop that gains us some life. I will take another crushing canopy for the sideboard, because this card is just bonkers good. Oh boy. We just have nothing good in our deck. Our deck is just a bunch of dirtly idiots. Oh, that's a late ochre and assassin. Yeah, I'll take the assassin. <laughs> this is our first pack, and like all of the cards we even multi even minorly considered came back. I'm gonna take the other trick. Maybe that's just how we win. We take all the tricks. Uh, sure. Yeah, this deck is not ideal, friends. Yikes. All right, so not good, not good. Take you out. Take Beam Splitter Mage. Take Utopia out. Veiled Shade out. Definitely don't need three Sumala Wood Shapers. So does this. Nine, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen lands? Okay, so. <coughs> Take Heart, Deadweight, Prey Upon. Flower Flourish is good. I guess we don't need Reckless in the main. Take out one Pax Favor, I guess. I need one one cut? Alright. How many creatures now? 17 creatures? Alright, I feel okay about cutting another creature if we're able to. Probably one of the Wood Shapers. Uh, white is our Splash, even though it does... You can't be... Yeah, I definitely can be on Glaive. Glaive is 100% playable, even if you have like one Gildegate in your deck. Giving your guys Vigilance, Menace, and plus one, plus oh is still totally fine. People who think you need multiple lands for like, like up to like four or five guild gates for Glaive is, they're just, I just don't agree with that at all. Especially if you put it on Vigorsporn Worm where it's literally just unblockable. <clears throat> like it makes your tiny guys so much bigger. Like even if, it, if I have one guild gate, this guy becomes a two one, like with Vigilance and Menace. And a lot of times you just can't deal with that. Like it's just not, not, not can't deal with it, but it's just getting in two points a turn for free. Like it just makes all of your bad guys into significantly better guys. Um, let's fix this mana. It's 11. We can go to 9 here. 4, 5. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, you need a 4.2 guild gates. Carry the 1, you see. Um, <laughs> Those 3.9 guild gates. Awkward. Yeah, Menace is super strong. It also forces them, like, if they have a 3 3 and a 2 2 and you have a 2 1 because it gets plus 1 plus 0 from the, the guild, the guild, the glaive, uh, you're forcing them to block with a creature that you can easily trade with with your 1 1 because otherwise they would just block with their 3 3. So it just puts you in, like, really good positions to have menace. And vigilance means they can't really race you effectively. So, I mean, it's just, it's just a very strong card. With the word guild gate no longer has meaning to me. Gates, gates, gates. Um, I think I'm going to cut one of these for one more swamp. Five, six. Yeah. And six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
I don't think our deck is good. I want to be clear. I want to be clear about this, guys. It's not looking great. I just got a YouTube comment from Alan Yee. Alan's, Alan's the guy who comments on a lot of the videos. And uh, he just said, not going to even lie, that ASMR combination, carbonation was legit. And uh, that's pretty hilarious. And I guess we'll keep this. This seems good. I wish I didn't have both crawl forges in my hand, but what are you going to do? Dislikes the deck, easy 5 0. Yeah, sometimes that is how it goes, Moan Frere. Oh, a hunted shitness. That was not appropriate. Here comes a mountain. Ready? Mountain into Boros uh, Champion. Is that what that dude's called? Boros the 2 3. What up, Bobby Miser? Oh, Forest. Well, what are my biscuits? Well, we do want a mountain. And by mountain, I mean swamp. Swamp would be great next turn, because then let's play this guy into this guy. Into these spicy boys. Oh, I was going to end my turn. I am done. Thank you very much. At least he doesn't has to marshal, am I right? That is a good point. That is a valuable point. Oh, I see what you're going to do here. You're going to beetle. You're going to make this 2-2 two, two, a 3-3? Three, three? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, a black card. Solid. Solid. I have no plays still, so I'm just going to let you uh, deal me five here. Having a good time. Always a pleasure. One free hug. I'm going to need it after this match. That's for sure. I see. Well then. Oh man. My neck is hurting from the sick. Wow, fashionably late, you piece of garbage. All right. Um. Oh, I guess. Oh, we can take an enchantment. Oh, that's. Oh, well, two two swamps is nice. Yikes. Yikes. How good would soup be right here? Quite good. Yeah, that's rude. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go to the next game. Both sides fought hard. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm gonna bring in Hitchclaw Recluse. Take out a five drop. Actually, we'll take out the worm. I'll keep the the crawl foragers in because four fours are good. And that'll be all I really do. I will play first because up oh, keep snap keep three three lands good I ch I do have deckmaster I don't have it open though I have the overlay thing. Uh, let's go green. Oh, really? Why are you why are you significantly late to the party every time?
The time has come to save me. Now it's on. What does it do? I always forget to turn it on, but... They need a wristwatch? What does that even mean? What are you saying right now, Katie? Oh, that's rude. I wonder if they were born this rude. Hard to say, you know? Oh my god, late to the- wow, okay. I get it now. I'm a fan. Well? Two one one nerds. Okay. Lands would be great because I have a six drop in my hand. I'm gonna just chum block here to make a three three. Which is better than all their things combined. You <laughs> can't even tap a permanent the full way. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we pack favor here. I feel like we do. So now they got three one one lifelink boys. Those lifelink boys are at it again. Five, six, seven. Well, I guess we're no attacking because that that dude is big as shit, as the kids say. Uh, no one says that, you know. Oh, that's all right. All right. All right. It's not great. In fact, I don't even know why I got excited about it. Uh, let's no attack because reasons. How can we dance when the... Hmm? The time has come to say. Huh? Mm. Fears always enjoy your D2 stuff, buddy. Always a pleasure. Oh, that's a good one. Also a good one. <laughs> D2, isn't that just a coin? Uh, Well, I'm not going to play this guy as a 3-3. Three, three. I'd rather just keep up the ability here. No attacks. I think we're dead. Yikes. I've got a feeling the night's gonna be a good, good night. 
it's not. Oh, yeah, go to the tax. I don't care about all that. Do what you gotta do, my dude. Intriguing. Most intriguing. I will double block here and I'll block here and pump. Those are my plans. Oh, one free hug is in the chat. That's cool. <laughs> love it. I love when the... I love when my opponent is actually in the chat. That's always a good feeling. I never feel like you're actually cheating at all. What? Oh, I blocked. Block here. very weird when people find a reason to go to your stream when you're playing MTG Arena which is like pretty casual nothing okay well Sure. If you want to trade for three one ones, whatever. Oh boy. Good times. Good times, good times. So, uh, no reason to. Okay, I'll just play this and see what we hit. Mm, Lurcher number three sounds good. Um, I can go double block. Three, four, six, seven. <coughs> yep. Uh, we don't know they're ghosting. We just know they're in the chat, which is also super uncomfortable. I mean, they're still in there. One free hug is still in the chat. Unless it's just a coincidence. I mean, I don't know. Just like, as a courtesy, don't join the person's stream that you're playing against. Like, it's just not ideal. I'm going to play this crushing Kenobi to get rid of the uh, 
Actually, with no flyers in their deck, Sprouting Renewal might be better, but I like the blowout factor of this. And I think if they attack, we get to Crushing Canopy. I don't even believe in ghosts. Me too. <clears throat> uh, definite keep here. Turn two, Mara into turn three, gold. call Zack from Ghost Adventures? What the hell is that? You got it. You got it. Any two drop here would be great because we can go two drop, keep this up, do a thing. Also, Glaive's not ideal on Imara. Uh, okay, so you obviously have something here. So I'll just take four. <laughs> not in the business getting. Zach Baggins? Is that like Frodo? Hmm. <coughs> oh, Zach Baggins from the Shire. Pretty Squid, you said make them fight, and then they played Prey Upon. And uh, that's almost like... That's almost like witchcraft. I'll just play this guy as a 3-3. I'm fine with it. He's the Frodo of Ghost Adventures. I mean, someone had to be, you know? There had to be a Frodo in Ghost Adventures. In Venners? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wary, oh Cappy, where, where, oh Cappy. Does he have hairy ghost feet? I have questions. One of my favorite TV shows just came back on the air this week, uh, Curse of Oak Island. Uh, I've been watching it for like six seasons now, and it is just gas. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three. Glaive. Can I just actually, maybe I don't do this. They still have a mana. Yeah, we can cancel this. Can I untap this mana? Like, no, it just has to get used here? Okay. Alright, well, I guess that's a thing. Why am I, what are you doing? Why does it say cancel? Is it my time? There we go. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just like, why is it doing this? I was trying control Z and then it put me in full control mode. And I was just like, why is the thing still ticking down? I'm like in different phases now. Come on. If they want to double block, I'll probably just trade Wario Cappy for both these dudes. <coughs> you know what? Fine. Let's move on. I know, I mean, I'm pretty sure they have Take Heart here. Six. 
Might of the Masses. That's basically just a take heart. That's fine. Yep. Trades all around. You get a 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Good deal. Have two Rhizome. Rhizome? Rhizome Lurchers. And we get a third one if we can actually break the break the spell here. Yep, my card's not great. Oh, hell yeah, that was great. <laughs> well, you got real excited about that one. Uh, we're not going to do that. We won't play this guy. Uh, coconut fibers is a big... If you watch this show, like it's easy to be like, oh, coconut fibers is a big deal to them. It's easy to be kind of dismissive about it, but if you watch the show, you actually understand why that's a big deal. Dan Fike, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm just playing 4-4.deck over here. The rhizome is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> oh. I love Katie with the, uh, with the, let's get the, get the real biology talk here. Let's get that real biology talk going. I'm actually just going to play this guy, and next turn we're going to Flower Flourish and kill everything. And it's going to be muy bueno. <clears throat> oh, I'm generally uninformed. Yeah, so like, there's a theory. The theory of the island is that coconut fibers were used to build dams, um, water filtration areas on the island. Um, and when they found coconut fibers, it was pretty, uh, it, it almost, it, it helps support that kind of theory. Boom, 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 boom. So everybody has to block the little the little ass man. <clears throat> uh, it was a good amount of coconut fibers. It was not uh, like one coconut fiber. It was like, actually, okay. So no, actually, it wasn't. Uh, it, I, maybe yeah, actually, my I see your point. The coconut fibers that they were wanted to find was uh, were were numerous, but I'm not sure if they actually found enough to. Yep. I almost didn't want to deal any damage to this guy, but uh, that is not how that works. Either way, they have two two twos. We have a four four and four four, and we have a glaive. So, and if we hit a land, we can play both of these. If we don't hit a land, we've hit a spell, which is nice. Can you? Peace out. Uh, do we play another lurcher? No, we're just going to attack for both of these guys right now. Because if one of them happens to die, I'd rather just play the lurcher post-combat. Make it a 6-6. Six, six, and uh... <coughs> Damage. Damage. Lay damage. I see. Well then. Actually, just kill them here, right? <coughs> like, 
presuming they don't have some kind of some kind of shenanigans here. And this is where you can see the power of the of the glaive, where they have one guy and they just can't. They're just taking seven unblockable. So, all right. Well, either way, we did it. I did not expect to. Ooh, 20 out of 20. That's good. 27 out of 30. So close. Claim them prizes. I did not expect to win that game. AR deck is not terrible. Where I don't support. <laughs> Wait, what happened? We have a long-standing group where I don't spray. I don't think that's, I don't think that's true at all. But maybe it is. But I do have that free Twitch Prime sub there. I'm on I can't figure out how to surround this. Oh my God! How are you not using your Twitch Prime sub on me? That's unbelievable. <clears throat> Put on a happy face. Oh, we're playing Naiatus. Naiatus. I don't know how to. <laughs> uh, we'll keep this hand. It's a little slow, admittedly. But that's okay. That's just the world we're living in. Oh, man, look at this guy. Oh, our hand got less slow. Gray skies are gonna have oh have some free monies. That's all I've ever wanted is free monies. Wow, just main phase chemistry's insight. That is a fascinating one. I want to hit land drops here, so I'm gonna play a land. I'm gonna play this guy for searchy searchy. Hit the plains, forest rather. Play this thing and attack for two. Because you're not going to block. Don't be ridiculous. This guy's too crucial to your plan. Come on. Don't be silly. Yep. Take it. Wow, where are the swamps in this deck? Am I right? You want to trade? No. <laughs> it's gonna be three swamps. Wow. Well, we whiff and we had we get rid of two black sources. So that's a thing. Oh. Well, that's just immature. Veiled shade. That's how we're splashing. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. <coughs> land would be nice because then we can play Crawl Forager. And then another land would be can play this guy. And if it's black land, we can play this guy, so. As it stands, our lands are not very good here. Now you can crack your crater maker if you'd like. But uh, it's still two for two for two. You got to do it because you get no damage in if you don't. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be a child about this. Just crack the crater maker. There you go. You figured it out. You did it. You did it. <clears throat> Aggressive. Very aggressive. Meanwhile, we have no creatures and they have six damage on board. We're going to go to the next game. All right. Any land would have been great there. Game two life and to play a 4 4. That's pretty hard to beat. I mean, it's very easy to beat uh, when you don't have manas. All right. So. I don't think we want to board anything in here. I think our deck is good. 
No, I don't. I don't actually think it's good. I think it's good against. I, I think it's better. I don't think. I think it's good in the current shape, rather. I don't want the 1 4 because they have a bunch of 2 twos. Uh, typically, magic players who go on MTG cruises are adults with, with jobs and hygiene issues under control, so. Um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, MTG Cruise is not like your local pre-release or, you know, whatever. Whatever negative connotation you may have with magic hygiene. Usually it's much, much higher because they're full-functioning adults that go on trips. <laughs> smells good. I'll just throw it out there. Appreciate that, buddy. I, uh... I try. I try. Uh, I think I want Saratok over Sumala. Because if we draw any, uh... <clears throat> any land, we can play two cards next turn, which is nice. If we don't, we can still play two cards, or we can just play Wood Shaper. Yep. Well. You go ahead and take your, take your dealer's choice here. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it. Man, that was uh, that was an ordeal for you. And I appreciate the effort, sincerely. <clears throat> that was a nice... I think, we, I think our board's pretty good here. I'm okay with it. It really was. Couldn't remember my Twitch password. I had to complete the caption thing like 8,000 times. Uh, hit all images that have cars in them. Okay. Do it again. Okay. Uh, all the images have cars. One more time. Okay. Which ones have signs in them? Oh, Jesus. Come on. I just want to enter my password. <clears throat> I bet Frank smells like clean laundry and sass mixed with something water-based. I, I do take particular, uh, I do take, I do, I do believe in hygiene. Let's put it that way. Of course it's about beards. God. Oh, that's old Lurchy. That's old Lurchy McMurchy. Uh, let's play you. Let's go to combat. I'm still surprised as a species we're so far behind on the captures in 2018. It's like, I just feel like we can, there's gotta be a better way. There's got to be a better way. All right, well, that's a thing. I'm just gonna play the Amara here because I think the Rise on Lurcher is probably the strongest card we have. All right. They're gonna do a thing. Oh, a Capture Sphere. Hmm. Why didn't they do that first so I didn't get six points in there? That's fascinating. <clears throat> I'm intrigued. Oh, crawl forages. Make a dude. Sounds good. That sounds a okay. So long, Saratok. So healthy. <clears throat> the one that's really hard for me is the storefront one. I'm like, this could be a storefront if you squint a little. Depends on what kind of business. And I'm also like, well, how far in the distance are we talking? Because I think there's one back there. 
I can see a headlight in this one. Does that count as a car? I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe they need a discreet front. I don't know. I Look, it's not my position to say what kind of a storefront you're running here. I think that's presumptuous. Oh, mephitic vapors. You get rid of two one ones. Okay. So right now you have what are these? Quadra du quasi duplicate, radical idea, and all right. So everybody's dead except for the three three, which is actually a four four. Just kidding. Um, I guess we'll attack first. There's nothing you can really do, but. And 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can deal three with explosion expansion. Some of them make me feel so blessed. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I feel like it's like it's like a game in a highlights magazine for kids. I'm just like Are you being serious right now, please? I don't understand. Oh, we should have played. Actually, we draw a card, so it's fine. They could also go block here, block here, and then they, they shoot this guy to get it off the board, which looks like what they're going to do, but then we just draw from Midnight Reaper, so um, having the Midnight Reapers out is nice because no matter who they, they kill... Yep, so now we get to draw a card from that. Maybe get another thing. Oh, that would have been nice last turn, but I think we're good could have also attacked with just the 6-6 six, six and don't give them that opportunity, but then they just block with one with one guy and then they still have a guy on board, so. Can they pump this? They can pump this one time. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the end. This is the end. My only friend of the end. <clears throat> this is the end. <laughs> it's your son. <laughs> Katie, why? Why are you the way that you are? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to just submit like this, I guess. I guess. I'm okay, Dad. Jesus. Jesus, butter my biscuits. Unpopular opinion, I think the doors suck. Wow. Um, <laughs> Cause I'm your dad. Oh man, good times. Good times. <clears throat> that makes him my grandchild. Yeah, that's true. That's true. How you feeling about that, grandma? More like Grandma Mugger, am I right? I believe I'm right. Like, you don't have to like the Doors, but I think you should definitely appreciate their con their contributions to music. I You can say that a band, you don't like a band, but to say they suck is a little bit rough. Like, that seems a little, a little brazen. A, a raisin... A brazen is just a, a burnt raisin. I was born a... I was born a grandma, and I will die a grandma. This is the end. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand and hope we just hit a white source. By turn two, because I want this Amara to come out real... Oh, that's a white source. Wow, we are good at this game, boys and girls. <clears throat> I just want to be on the... I just want to win the Magic the Gathering National Grand Universal Championships here. And I think we can do it. My name is Jeff, and I'm a big jerk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get in there. I get to make a 1-1. One, one. Oh, this is great for us. So 
Oh, we should have played this one, right? Uh, one, two. Yeah, we should have played the. Oh, we were. That was a bad turn. I'm so bad at this game. I forgot we're gonna make a guy. So that was. That might cost us some some value points. Like you either block here or you block here. If you block here, it's fine. Yeah, it's, I mean they're gonna radical idea here. And, yep, it doesn't. What are you gonna do? I want a rise on lurcher to get one. Of these, so. I also did want them to spend their mana so they can't counter this. We could also have this on board, which would be a lot better. Than on board. Yeah, we're this is the end. Burr, 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 my only friend of the end. Oh, they just took it. Oh, looking for a living. Oh, 100% guy. 100%. <clears throat> Oh, I see what you're going to do here. You're going to actually take my Indrik. I think our hand is pretty stacked, so I'm okay with it. Like, if we hit a land, we can go Ochre and Assassin and Dissident. Well, I guess we'll just play the Assassin then. Fair enough. Put this guy in the front. Yep, that is fine. We have double lurcher in hand, so I'm not really too concerned with uh, our trading one for ones here. Uh, there's definitely 60 card deck building. I just have not played it because I don't have the cards for it. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, it's probably going to be a lurcher. Yep. Seems good. You gonna counter this? You gotta counter this. No! <laughs> capture Sphere? It's gotta be Capture Sphere. As we thought. We still have a lot of things on board. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm wishing we did have Crushing Canopy here. We did not see... We saw Capture Sphere last game. That might cost us. A land would be great. Can I get a land? No. Okay. Well, I, I tried. Yep, that's pretty good. Well then. So this is six, so if we actually get to play that guy. Alright. All right. Is this Oh great. Oh great. So they block here, they take two. Yeah, we can gain we can like twelve life here once we start casting these guys. I'm a newly subscribed viewer. <laughs> here at the Frank the Porsche stream, we appreciate that. We appreciate your business. Yep. I think this is actually okay, which feels weird, but... <coughs> Taking what you're giving, because you're working for a living. Oh, oh, working for a living. Nine mana. Or six, six life, brother. I don't know if nine mana. I was thinking of nine damage here from these guys, but no attacks. Back up to 20. Take 
anything much or good. I didn't even look good. So all of your cards are like. I don't think you have a counter spell. I feel like you do have something though. I guess you could draw a card. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Oh, wait, what happened? Did they not... Di oh, did they have three lands in hand? They didn't have a land? They didn't have a spell to discard? Oh, wow. That is insane. And we get to go to 22? Oh, boy. Yes, please. Oh, wow. So they have three lands in hand. We know they have three lands because they, they didn't discard the Hypothesis. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that is not how I saw that going. That's ins I was like, alright, well I guess you're gonna kill the one one, clearly. Yep, there's one of the lands. So we know you have two lands in hand. Now we know you have one hand one land in hand, I guess. Huh. I guess we just alpha here? They're at four and we have take heart? All right. Sure, you're tapped out now. Okay. So I'm pretty sure you're dead here. And we gain another four, and then the crawl forward just gains a six. That's pretty good. Oh, and then these guys gain us another four, so this is like... Yeah, infinite life. What is even happening? I did not think this deck was very good. And now we're 2-0. Oh, we ranked up. Silver tier three. Is that like silver in League of Legends? I don't play that game, so I don't know. Stop! Stop! Well, dead. we dealt a hundred damage, so it looks like we got a history of Benalia, a Leon and Warleader, a Bells and Lock, a Kumina. Oh, Rekindled Phoenix? This is great. Thank you for the five decks and the 950 coins and the pack of guilds. And one more win and we break even, so. <laughs> oh, we got a Belschnickel. Oh, the Belschnickel. <laughs> oh, do I shoot Shroot? <sighs> I'll, yeah, I'll open that pack after this. I will play first and... Hands pretty rough. This hand is worse, but whatever. I'm not gonna go to five here. Dwight, shoot, shoot. Oh, you impish, you're admirable. <laughs> oh god. Two drop into land and land. I think I got a pre-release code, Yoke. I'm not sure how many you could use per account, but don't even worry about that, buddy. Don't you even worry about it. Swamp. Swamp. It's not a swamp, but I appreciate I appreciate the gesture. Uh, pre-release codes are for Arena. They grant you a pre-release. Uh, Ravnica pre-release. Yep, that's a good one. Four, five. We go to 11. I guess we get an extra turn. Oh, you need a swamp? I got you. Here's a five drop. So speaks the Belschnickel. And we're going to go to the next one. I had a good time. Said no one in this match other than my opponent. 
<laughs> Maybe I'm biased, but it feels like Arena punishes you way more than Old Magic for that kind of. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's. I don't know if there's evidence to support that. Yeah, I'll keep this and hope for a sweet, sweet planes off the top of my library. If not, we still have a two drop and a three drop. I would like to get this Amara going, but. Oh, you're kind of like a two drop. So Trixies. So Trixies. Oh boy. <sighs> oh, an iron shell boodle. Oh, more like an Iron Shell Deadle. Got him. And now we can have a good reason to play this Celestia Guild Gato. <laughs> oh, an Overgrown Tomb. I was like, what do you take damage from? I see. Is it our turn? What do we draw? Forest? That's boring. Um. Whatever. I mean, we'd play this if we knew they weren't going to play a creature. If we're just going to take a turn off, they're not going to have a creature, I'd play this. But, yeah, the odds of that are low, so we'll just play the better creature. Oh man, now I could have played the Amara. Oh, biscuits. Could have got that free creature out of it. Well, if we draw a three drop though, that would do. Wow, that's good. Good for us. feeling good. Kula woulda shoulda. That doesn't even make any sense, Voodoo Squid. Come on, buddy. Get it together. That's always fun. Yeah, that's actually fine. Give me one, go now, go now. So we can deal four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll just play this guy. Okay. 
I skipped you for reason this past week and caught myself no less than three times trying to type comments in the chat. Oh, that's not intelligence, though. That happens to everyone. Every I get that constantly. It's hilarious. Dang it. I thought this was. I thought I was watching this on. Sometimes people are trying to leave comments and they're like, oh, I forgot this was. Or they try to pause it. That's the most common one. They'll try to pause the video on stream and they're like, wait, I'm not on YouTube. Golden brown You I have uh who sings that song? Who sings Budapest? George Ezra? Is it George Ezra? Ezra? Edra? Okay, what can you have here for three minutes? I'll just use this. And if you want to do a trick trickery now you take three or this guy dies because I don't think he can stop both all right I think we got it I tried to leave comments on Jurassic Park the other day yeah but that's just that's just wise that's just a smart thing to do okay so we saw steel mr. steel yo guy Didn't see any flyers, didn't see many enchantments. <sighs> I guess we're good. I don't know how we're winning still. Thank you. Sal Randon, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it, buddy. Oh, it works? What happened? What worked? Free packs. <laughs> oh, man. Love it. Oh. Was it almost 2 a.m.? Good lord. <sighs> Is the code itself play Ravnica? I'll go. I'll try to redeem that. I don't think I've redeemed that yet. I'll try to redeem that after this. I think I can do that in the middle of a draft. Um, I'm going to keep this and hope we just hit lands, right? Come on. What could possibly go wrong? Imara on two seems pretty strong. So, here we go. For all the marbles. All the, all the marbules. All the marbules. Ooh. Oh, we did it. And we get to keep up Pax Favario. Oh, this is nice. So we can play this. We'll have one mana up. We'll have this up. And we'll have the one creature we make to keep up Pax Favor. So this can actually be very, very good if they don't have... I don't know what they could have here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm almost tempted to pack's favor now, but I don't think so. I do kind of want to flower flourish though to hit a land, but not really. We played a land this turn, so we're good. Adam bomb, baby, Adam bomb. I want her in my wigwam. Oh, love it up TNT. Atom bomb, baby. Atom bomb. Let's flower flourish to get land. Might as well get a planes.
I mean, I'm a much bigger fan of having Take Heart there so they can play Glaive, but uh, I'll take it. Oh, also, if they're playing... Did they miss Lander? Not anymore. That's... That's pretty good. We can play Glaive and Equip here, actually, which is very, very nice. We can also equip it to this, which is probably better. Yeah, let's do that. And now you're seeing the power of Glaive, so that we don't just throw this guy away. And we can continue to advance our board. The Meows are pretty good. Just give me one land so I can play this Indric and still be, uh... Preferably a Swamp. Oh man, Swamp killing this 2-3? Yes, let's do that. Oh my god! How did we get this good at Magic the Gathering, ladies and gentlemen? That is the question we ask ourselves. Now we toss everything away. I think we're way far ahead here. Yep, figured you'd do double blocks here. Which is great for us because then you take one, two, three. You take a million, basically. This guy's definitely going to the front. And we actually want guys to go to the graveyard at this point because we have so much on board. This is a this is a situation where Ben Stark would say, I'll just throw away my best guy, and it's fine, we've gotten enough value out of it, and it puts us way, way ahead. Nothing, huh? Fascinating. Okay. I can't imagine. This is very strange. You're going to bounce something? I don't know what's going on. That is fine. One, two, three, four, five. You can put you to... This is a straight trade, though. I think that's okay. We can just play Lurcher here, which is a 4-4. Four, four. Actually, we just... No, we only have one of copy. So we'll just play with Lurcher because next turn if we draw on the land, we can play both of these guys. And they're at four, so... I don't know how we're 3-0 at this deck. I actually don't understand. This was our meme deck that we were like, let's complete these quests, and uh, here we are. Goblin Banneret. That's no prize. Let's go check out, how do we redeem a code? Adjust options, learn more direct channel, use options. No. Um, store, maybe? Redeem code, play Ravnica, P-L-A-Y-R-D-N-I-C-A. Oh, oh, that was nice. How many packs do we have, four? All right, we'll open these all at the end. That was sweet. I just got three free packs for just doing nothing. <laughs> it's good to know about the codes that, that exist because if you don't, you know, you're not going to get any packs. <sighs> I had not entered that code yet. I haven't entered many codes. I think I entered that code and I entered the code for the pre-release pack. Those are the only ones I've ever entered, so. That's a uh, spicy guacamole. <laughs> what would Ben Stark do? I don't know. I just don't know. And you know what? If I did, I'd be in the Hall of Fame. Look at this wait time. Oh, look at this beautiful hand. Double forest and four drop, six drop. The two drop's the only thing good. We're going to ship this bad boy. We'll keep this aggressively, aggressively land-filled hand because it has all our colors. 
I wish I had guacamole. Can't you get some? Uh oh. Here we go. Here we go. It's also only like 11 p.m. where you are. 10:50. Not even 11. You can go. You can go out and get some some guac. Guacamole. I get the guacamole. I don't think that's how it's, how it's said, but. All right, you got a bunch of little nerds. I would love a creature that I could cast this turn. That'll do, thank you. <sighs> do you think I've left my house there? I was not under the impression. I'm just saying that it is possible. Would you say you're also slugging hard? Because that is also a way to be. Do you milk it from some sort of Spanish cow? I think so. Which is why it's the creamiest of the fruits. What the hell does that mean? The creamiest of the fruits? Interesting. El Hokamole. Oh, they did not attack with this gentleman. All right, well. This guy's got float, right? Well, you're the Boros. You're the, the, I was going to say Boros deck, but you're the mono white deck, so I'm just going to try to take you down to Chinatown. Leroy Brown. Um. God, I want the Indrik real bad here, but I think we got to take the Midnight, the Midnight Reaper. Nah, we got Indrik. We can we can play Imara and Glaive next turn, so we have things to do next turn. And um, you know, yep, they make a one-one. We're gonna have to take out the Marshal. Which means we take one extra point, but that's... Oh, Crawl Forgers actually seems great here. And again, we get Amara and Glaive next turn, which is nice. Not thrilled with putting the Glaive on the Amara, but we can put it on here. Obviously, they have Tribunal. We actually, I was like, they're going to 100% have Tribunal here. So, that's cool. I'm going to get in for five. Not the absolute. Good. All Pernicious dude, here's what here's. You can just listen to my, my sweet dulcet tones as I lull you to sleep. ASMR style. Major Slugfest was my name when I was in the military. Oh, they always have it. Well, having all the answers. So now we get a block here. Oh, we're not dead. No way we're dead, guys. There's no way they have an answer slash pump spell in their hand. Oh my god. We are alive. Oh, I, oh, I'm still alive. Hey. Is something wrong? She said, Oh, I'm not supposed to be. Is that the question? Well, they didn't have it last turn, and now we have two blockers for the guys. Alright, well. My fingers. Oh, well, there you go. Now we're dead. <laughs> now we've died. Now they have a justice strike. Is that the question? How about a crawl forager? That would be great. I would love to just gain some life here against this deck. You should hire some sort of choral ensemble to record a layered tonal get wrecked that you can put on the old sound. I could just have my I can have my friend Spencer do it, just like he did this one. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right, well, what do you got? Sure strike? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like this is a sure strike. But I'm not going to not block. And if we double block, they can take out the Amara. I don't know if they would, though. If we double block, they can take out the Amara without wasting the sure strike, which is really what I'm trying to avoid here. I don't want to give him more vigilance, so I want to give the Invert vigilance. And I want to make a 1 1 with life linkos. So you can block here, which is just fine. You did not. Curiouser and curiouser. Did Kevin Planet come take Mike B away? Yeah. Gonna take Mike B down to zero. It's kind of like that. I mean, Mike B is basically pollution, right? So, you know how it goes. Ooh, another lurcher. Oh, another lurchy boy. So, hmm. I'll put this on you instead. Let's see if you got a removal spell for this guy. Combat. I'm feeling a justice strike here, which is a little scary, but we're going to have two blockers. One of them is going to be huge. And they do have to actually block a bunch here. So, again, this is not a situation where I thought we'd be in. I thought we were I thought we were dead a long time ago, but I don't know what's happening. 2-2 two, two on 2-2. Two, two. I accept that. Again, this is a situation where Amara's done her job. 1-1 one, one on 6-4. Call her the culprit on 6-4. Okay. That's a 6-4 those are your only blocks? We go back up to four and we get to play a 7-7 seven, seven Rise Home Lurcher. Oh, hold on. Cancel that. And play this. And then play this guy. Seven mana. Good game. All good game. I have no idea how we were I feel like we were also supposed to die. I have no idea what happened. I'm definitely bringing Crushing Canopy, though. Um, because it kills Skyland Scout and it kills Conclave Tribunal, and I have to assume they have at least some amount of the dude. The uh, Luminous Bond. The name is Bond. Luminous Bond. Again, Glaive, though. Gained one extra life. It, it meant that they couldn't single block our token with their 1-1. One, one, and... Uh, Gained us two life. Like, it's pretty good. I'll take Lantern out. We have 17 lands. Should be enough. Did we see a bond? Was there a guy on board that had a bond on it? I wasn't sure if that was this game or the last game. It's 2 a.m. I got to go to bed. Yoakum, I love you, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. I, it was a, actually a blast seeing you for as long as I did tonight. You have been missed, good sir. <laughs> 5 p.m. here. Party just getting started. Nice. Good night, Moon. I can't. I don't know how we won that game. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Oh, two swamps, huh? Nope, mulligan in this hand. Didn't we mold a six last game, too? Your opponent kept a hand of seven cards. Of course they did. Oh, key. Uh, yeah, we can leave that on top. Oh, yes. Gonna attack our opponent down to zero. 
This is not the card we want to use a dead weight on, but... Oh, that's... Oh, we're doing that. Bad guys who like to loot and blunder. I guess you guys come for the magic, but you stay for the Captain Planet memes. I hope they go Luminous Bonds attack, and then we go Crushing Canopy attack. And then that seems like it's just where you want to be. Oh, look at that little cutie. What a little cutie. Uh, no blocks. Actually, we, we probably should have... Yeah, we probably should have seen if they had a trick, actually. That would have been great. I was just so excited about killing the burb. Is this where they tribunal us? Uh, no blocks, as you might imagine. You'll pay for this planet. We're the planeteers. You can be one too. Two tenth district guys are not where you want to be right now. Alright, well. These lands are not where I want to be either, so. We just attack with both. Like, if they trade here, I think it's fine. We have two 1 1s. I think we've gotten our value off of Imara. It's better than doing nothing and just letting them build their board when when we have uh, undergrowth creatures in our deck and our hand, so. They have three cards in hand. I feel like our hand is definitely better suited to win this long game. Well, that definitely helps. I don't think they have a good deck. Which is weird, because it's like the 3-0 bracket, which I'm not sure if that's even how that works, but... Saving our planet is the thing to do. Okay. I mean, that is a good use of that. Do I just flower flourish to get a land here? <sighs> Guarantees us playing Vigor Spine Worm next turn. No, because if we draw a land, we're in great shape. And if we draw any card in our deck, we can just cast it. So I'm pretty sure we're just fine without. No blocks. Fascinating. Yep, that's a thing. <coughs> Weird. Alright. Well, I mean, we're not going to block ever because I'm not going to... Okay. Sure. Yeah. Just the perfect storm of removal, right? Like, command the storm, uh, righteous blow, direct current, and integrity intervention. I think we figured out how they got to this place. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this. I ain't about taking another two points from this guy. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful.
Is it a whiff or is this a hard decision? Mm. That's a good dude. You don't have a six land though. That's okay, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Green drink to watch this green deck. I got some Diet Mountain Dew in the fridge if you want to come grab some. I don't know if you're a Mountain Dew purist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is nice. We can actually play this guy and keep it. Damage. Go to 11. End the turn. If they want to attack with this guy, he does have Vigilance. I guess we can double block. So this would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. And then we'd have 8 total power here. So if they did, they could kill both if they wanted to direct current and attack with this guy. Fascinating. Take seven. Let's block like this, and if they want to direct current this, that's fine, because then we're just going to attack with both of these guys with flourish. So now you actually have to block one of these guys. Which means that guy dies. And we're in good shape. And 6-6. Six, six. All right. I think we just won again. <laughs> yeah, that line you took. Yeah, the, the thing you did. Do that again. Uh, oh, I, were, I was going to combat, and then I was going to gain four life. I guess we didn't. Uh, we are currently 4-0. That was our fourth win. I think we have one more match to play. Oh, I clicked on the claim, and I clicked on the card, and it didn't flip. It just did a thing. Zero losses with this deck. So we have three matches. I guess we have two, right? We can play this one. We could lose it, and then we can play the next one and lose it. So we get two We get two shots to 5-0. To we have two win and ins, so to speak. And this is a keeper. A sneeper, if you will. We have two shots to 5-0. We could lose a match. Oh, 5-0. I see what you're saying. I get it. <laughs> yes. Oh, lurchy boy. Well, that's nice. I feel like if they had unexplained disappearance, they would have played it there, maybe. Prevent three. Set me back some. I feel like this is going quite well. Uh, I will take the the bomb. I'm headed to bed. Katie, thank you so much for hanging out, buddy. It was really, really good to see you. It has been too long. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that as well. So if we put this on here... They're going to block here, and they're going to take four. We can just put it on here, and they take four anyway. I guess take three because of this, because of the thing, but that's fine. 
We got the crabs. Well, they got the crabs. Hmm. Well, they're probably going to counter this guy. Oh, they're going to capture Sphere you. Okay. See you later, Krabby. Why so crabby? <laughs> oh, I see. You're just gonna, you're just gonna be keep crabbing it up, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four, six, seven. This bad boy has so many miles on it. You're right. Get some whiskey drinks. Oh, two crabs. Oh, two crabs. Crabs for days. They double block and then we can't get through. Well, this is awkward. Do we put them to one here? That's the question. I don't think so. They go double block here, they take four. You know what? Sure. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, a swamp finally. Here we go. We're in business. I feel like I was being a little too aggressive here. These creatures are not super impressive. All right, so they're just they're just overloading the board here. We got a lot of we got of things we can draw. We got a lot of things here. That's not one of them. Surprisingly, I can't believe we're going to lose this game when they're at one. This is unbelievable. And I say we're going to lose this game because we're in, we're not in a good position here. This is not the we're going to win this game position. This is the we're going to lose this game position. You got it. Jesus. All right, well. I 
God, to my my kingdom for a gut shot here. Yikes. Their deck's a lot better when they have both their colors, it seems. Bigger spine worm would be nice. It's an eight mana. It's a nine mana. Oh man, vicious rumors. That'd be hilarious. Uh, take one, please. Hmm, thank you. Well, that is what it is. So, Vigor Spine Worm, Flower Flourish. Lurcher number dose. Oh, uh -oh my devious colors, not my colors, boy. No, okay. <coughs> End the turn. What is this over here? A chamber sentry? That's in your graveyard? Okay. Good to know. I don't see you returning that guy anytime soon. Pernicious dude. Have a good night, buddy. My name is Jeff. Wait till they drop lantern. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Nicely done. This guy's just trying to trying to do the do the deed here. That's a good. That's a big boy. Well, that is not a big boy. So if we put it on here. You got to block with two things. You just block with five four two five, right? Or two five. Yeah, that's that's not great for us. Five six seven eight nine ten. Yeah, we're pretty much dead here. They can also just block with rat and crab and not even care. Yeah, this was pretty sad. I bet we could have done something different at some point to deal with extra point of damage, but that was pretty frustrating. Well, now we're definitely bringing in Crushing Canopy, both of them, especially when they have Capture Sphere. Uh, we can take out... They got the lantern. Lanterns are pretty unimpressive. I will play first. Um, I don't know if this hand is great. This hand actually seems pretty rough I'll keep it oh boy any land is great for us any land off the top now we have two plays and a crushing canopy this might be our first loss I feel it Y'all beautiful, it's true. <coughs> oh, that's some dead weight right there. Oh boy, here we go. I really don't want to play 1-1 one -one here because then they just kill it. And that's just sad.
Oof. Notion rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Notion rain. Ba -do 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 -do. Well, this is a decent recovery. Two four fours is not bad. This crab is real annoying. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Deal. Oh, you got it. Maybe we can win this game? I don't know, three four fours on board seems pretty hard to deal with. I don't think you want to bounce any of these because they just get better. <laughs> but. Yeah, that's fine. Boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, boom, boom. Yep, your move. Three, four, fours. Game three. How presumptuous of me. Oh, I think we're going to go to game three. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. Looks like we are. So I better get ready for it. Alright, well, let's see if we can go 5 0 with this deck that I did not expect to, to win uh, two matches with. Apparently, if you just play big green idiots, you can win matches. I don't know. Who knew? That's Magic 101 right there. Yep, mulliganing the one lander here. Keeping this one, all right. Oh yes, oh yes. Good deal, good deal. I feel like we're going to trade here. Or they play dead weight and attack. Eh. Nope. Trade. <laughs> Chamber Sentry for a Ma. Yep. A fair trade. Hopefully they accidentally redirect to our face, but no. They did not. I mean, I'm fine with them spending their four mana and in a, in a creature to get rid of our Imara. That's totally fine with me. Are they also missing a land drop here? Maybe.
they tilting off? And they're like, forget it, I can't even draw lands. This is fascinating. That rope's getting real low. Sun's getting real low, buddy. Big guy. I actually like the timeout system here. It's nice. It's not bad. It gives you a good way to have extra time when you need it, and it gives you a way to earn extra time if you if you need it. Because Magic is not a, a game where the decisions are always that quick. Like there's always there's sometimes there's a lot of things you can do. I don't know what's happening right now. Is this how we're gonna win this last game? Oh boy. And a whiff. All right. Well, <clears throat> that was interesting that they would use both their timeouts like that. A whiff would have been a uh, not a whiff would have been much better. I would have appreciated that more. But I guess if there were no creatures in the top four, then uh, I don't know what Jumbo Commander is, so I could not tell you. I would have I have no idea. How many times do you, do you get to go to time before you just don't? Because, I mean, like, this is kind of silly if they can just do it every turn, right? All right. 5-0, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Not the victory I thought we were going to have, but here we are. Here we are. And all the packs in the world. Yeah, Forerunner of the Coalition. Great. Fantastic. Undefeated. Six pack arenas. That is amazing. I did not expect that. And now we have ten packs to open, so we'll do that before the end. Legion of the Light. Not a constructed playable card by any means, but a rare card nonetheless. Oh, Experimental Frenzy. That is quite playable. What we got here? Oh, Aurelia. Also quite playable. That's nice. Any Mythic's a good Mythic, except for the shitty Mythics. And eh, I like Assure Assemble a lot. I think it's a good card. I'm not sure if it's a like super heavily constructed playable card, but... Response Resurgence? Also fine. Pelt Collector, that is a playable card. Yeah, another two Assure Assembles and ten packs. That's fascinating. Oh, Mnemonic Betrayal. That is a Mythic, but not a great Mythic. So, like I said earlier, every Mythic is a good Mythic. That one, not so much. Overgrown Tomb. Never sad about uh, some Shocklands. That's pretty good. And finally, Night of Autumn. Meh, another playable. Sure. How many of these do I have? Oh, I have four Mythics, 12 Rares. That's a lot, but not as many as I expected. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of those links are in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. That link is in the description as well. You'll get 15% off your first purchase. They're super soft micromodal fabric. Uh, you can get socks, onesies, Star Wars things, tees, lounge pants, you name it. Uh, it helps me out, helps you out. You get free shipping, free returns, and uh, it's a great way to support the stream. So be sure to check that out. Link is in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.